And when we get to the new project dialog, you can go ahead and name it, put it wherever you want. I'm not going to bother using analytics for this one. The main thing is to go ahead and click the 2D toggle right here. Now, if you forget, you go ahead, you make your 3D project, you know, you get a couple hours into it. It's not a problem. You can go ahead and switch this in the editor. But if you can remember it at the start, things will go a little bit more smoothly. So after done, you just go ahead and click the create button. But let's go ahead and actually pretend that we, you know, forgot we got in. And I'll show you how to switch this over to a 2D project. So here we are in a standard 3D project inside of Unity. To switch this over to a 2D, just simply click the 2D button. And we also get a directional light in a 3D scene. So you can just go ahead and delete that. And one thing to note is that when we start importing textures, this should be importing as a sprite. So I'm going to go ahead, grab a couple, just drag them into my project and drop them in. And when I click on them, I see up here that they're called a default. What we actually want is to go ahead and create a sprite out of them. And we'll go over sprites in one of the other videos. Uh, but that's about the only difference. If this project was made as a 2D project to begin with, these would have been imported as a sprite. So let's go ahead. I'm going to recreate this project as a actual 2D project. And we'll take a look at the differences. So here we are again at the Unity project creation. So we'll go ahead, we'll click new again. But this time we'll go ahead and make sure that we've clicked the 2D button. And again, I do not need any analytics in this. I'm not even going to rename it. So we'll go ahead, we'll jump in. This time it's a, creating a 2D project for us. And as we see, the 2D comes pre-checked. There's no directional light. And when we drag and drop in some assets, they're automatically set as a sprite. So that's all there is to setting up your project to be 2D. In the next video, let's go ahead and start taking a look at sprites themselves. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles and falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>